Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. With this mystery of water and wine, may we who share in Christ's humanity come to share in his divinity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed be God forever. O oh God, we ask we see the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all of this church. Father of mercy, we have these gifts to offer in honor of your saints who bore witness to your mighty power. May the power of the Eucharist bring us your salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You give the church this feast in honor of St. John Vianney. You inspire us by his holy life, instruct us by his preaching, and give us your protection in answer to his prayers. We join the angels and the saints as they sing their unending hymn of praise. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. We are faithful, Lord, to your command. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. 
May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. 